So an absolute value equation, they're pretty straightforward. I mean, I think they're easy to solve. Sometimes you'll get one this simple, which is relatively rare, and the answer, I mean, excuse me, it, uh, the equation is this. And all you really do is, this is, actually, you should come up with two solutions. And this is going to be overly simplified. It, look, it makes more sense when the problem is actually harder. But for this one, all you do is x equals the original equation minus the bars. And then the other one is all you do is change the sign of the answer. Done. So whenever you see this absolute value you know, sign or these bars, you're going to end up with two scenarios, two equations um, that are separate. You solve them independently, and that's the answer. So again, too easy. To, it's almost confusing that was so easy. So now let me show you a more typical one, right? It might be like this. You might have your absolute value bars. You'd have x minus 1 equals 6, OK? <laughs> Same thing. Upon Ryan's advice, I do two arrows. The first one, the one on the left, is there's no difference in the original equation. x minus 1 equals 6, except for I got rid of the bars, right? So x minus 1 is 6, totally the same. The one on the right is x minus 1 again. The only thing you do is you change the sign of the answer, negative 6. Don't do what some teachers tell you. They leave him alone and change all the inside. Ignore that. So there's two arrows. The one on the left, no change. The one on the right, this remains the same as the original, but the answer changes to an opposite sign to negative. And that's it. And then just solve them both separately. See, OK, plus 1, plus 1, x equals 7. And then over here, you have plus 1, plus 1, x equals, be careful, negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. So these are your two solutions to that, that, uh, abs that absolute value equation. And really, if you plugged them in, you could verify that this works. If you put 7 in here, 7 minus 1 is 6. If you put negative 5 in here, negative 5 minus 1 is negative 6. Absolute valued makes that positive 6. So whatever. If you do this without these arrows, you are messing up. Make sure you do two arrows, left side the same, right side almost the same, except the solution or the answer is negative. And that's it. Pretty easy. And remember, if you're struggling at your local high school, you can take this online at Silicon Valley High School and the uh, credits will be transferred back to you.